This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I apply different materials to individual subtools? So to start off, I just have the rifle file loaded up, and I want to come through and apply a different material to each of the subtools that this rifle is made of. So this rifle has eight subtools, and I want to come through and apply a different material to each subtool. So by default, when you load a model in, it's not going to have any poly paint or texture information assigned to it. So this means that when you come over here and select a different material, all the subtools that are associated with that tool are more than likely going to change to that material. So if you want to make individual subtools a different material, we need to first apply that material to those individual subtools. So to do this, we just need to create a texture or use the polypaint information to store that material value. So here I just have part of the rifle selected, so the first subtool here, and I want to apply a different material to that tool. So I'm first going to come over here and select a different material. So let's select the reflect yellow. And now next, I need to make sure I'm in material mode to apply that material. So up at the top here, you have an MRGB, an RGB, and an M value. So the RGB is just going to give the red, green, and blue information, and the material, or the M, is going to give the material information. So if I just want to apply the material to the subtool, I'm going to make sure I have M on, then I'm going to go to color, and I'm going to do a fill object. So this is going to take the M, which is this material that's selected over here, and apply it to that subtool. Now you'll notice after I did that color fill object that this paintbrush icon has now appeared on our subtool. And this is just letting you know that this subtool now has colorize or poly paint information on that tool. So now if I go to the next subtool, the lower barrel here, and now select a new material, say something like a good one here. Let's do green clay. And now I'm gonna do the same process, make sure I have M on, go to color, fill object, and now you'll notice the paintbrush icon is now active. So that has now baked that material into that subtool's poly paint information. So now if I change this material again, you're gonna notice that Everything that does not have this polypaint icon on it has been applied with this matte cap gray, but the first subtool that I baked the yellow material into is now filled with that, and the second subtool has now been filled with that green clay material. So the thing to just make sure is that you have a subtool selected, you have M on, you pick the material you want to apply, so I'm going to do this gradient map here, color, fill object, and then you can now select the next one, go to the next subtool in your list, pick a, another material, color, fill object, go to the next subtool, pick a, another material, color, fill object, pick a, another material, and just go through your model like this until you have different materials applied to each subtool. So now that we have these materials applied to our subtools, how can we turn these materials off or erase the material data that has been stored on the subtool? So to simply turn the material off, you just need to come over to the subtool palette here and simply just click on the paintbrush icon. When you click on this paintbrush icon, it's going to disable any poly paint or colorize information on your model. So toggling this on and off will toggle that colorize or poly paint information. So this is gonna allow you to just quickly preview that part without that material applied. Now this poly paint or colorize information is also going to store the RGB values on that subtool. So if you turn off this paintbrush icon, not only is it going to turn off the M channel, but also any RGB values you have on that subtool. So sometimes you want to hold, say, the painting information and just remove the material from that subtool. So to do this, we just need to select a subtool. So I just have this front casing subtool selected here, which is this one here. And I just want to clear the material that is on that subtool. 
So to do this, we just need to come over here and select the flat color material. Now with the flat color material selected, we come up to color now and do a fill object. This is going to remove any of the materials that have been associated with that subtool. So now if I switch back to say matte cap gray, you're going to notice that all the subtools that do not have polypane information are matte cap gray. And also this tool that I have selected is now receiving matte cap gray as its material. And this is because we cleared the material that was stored on that subtool. So the process again is select the subtool you want to clear the material on, choose flat color, and then go to color fill object, and it'll remove that material from the polypaint or colorize information on the model. And then you go back and select another material and view it like so. So if you have any additional questions on ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.